It's a car bomb, says the buried soldier. What you're looking at is a suicide bomber driving a car towards Iraqi forces in Talafar. It has been sending fighters to stop government forces from tightening their circle around the northern city. The forces have taken multiple neighborhoods as they close in. ISIL fighters are putting up stiff resistance, but the Iraqi commander-in-chief is confident this is their last stand. Military operations are progressing in an excellent manner, and our units are advancing. Some of them entered the town from the east and south sides. There are signs of collapse in the enemy. The Iraqi army, federal police, and counterterrorism forces are involved in the battles currently taking place. After the battle for Mosul, this is the first time that Shia militias are actively involved on the front lines. Because of concern of revenge attacks against the Sunni population, they were banned from taking part in Mosul. Many Shia recruits from Tel Afar are fighting here and they see victory soon. I'm from Tal Afar. We have reached the Jira neighborhood. We are less than a kilometer from the city. God willing, we will take back our city. ISIL's defenses in Tal Afar have been breached. But the armed group's shrinking control is raising questions about who will acquire what. The Kurdish Peshmerga are not part of this battle. Their leader has called for a referendum on independence, and that's unsettled allies and neighbors. Turkey supports the Kurdish regional government against ISIL, but opposes the vote for independence. The steps taken at Erbil are wrong, and we told them that clearly and frankly. And the raising of Kurdistan's region flag over official and governmental offices and institutions in Kirkuk contravenes with the Iraqi constitution. But the battlefield is still active, and the fight against ISIL is not over. There are a few more pockets even after Iraqi forces completely take over Tal Afar. There are major challenges once ISIL loses all its territory in Iraq. Besides security, there is the repatriation of hundreds of thousands of people to places which are now destroyed. And there seems to be consensus among the Kurdish regional government's neighbors and allies that a referendum at this time might not be a good idea. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Northern Iraq.